Hi guys, this is Erica at Create Your Future and I just want to remind you about our contest that we're running. We are giving away one session to three different people, so three sessions total. Uh, once we reach 100,000 subscribers, all you have to do to participate is make sure that you subscribe, you like our videos and you share them, and then you share something that you have manifested using the love assumption. So uh, today I wanted to talk about, I had a question from one of my clients and they were asking me, like, Erica, what's the difference between uh, manifesting from affirmations or thoughts and how about manifesting from being on a state, right? Because we, we manifest from states. So this is my point of view. So the difference is we are always manifesting based on our thoughts. Our thoughts manifest. Our assumptions also manifest. So, but when we are in a state, for example, we are always in different states or we can be in different states of mind. For example, you can be in the state of mind of being really poor or you can be in a state of mind of being rich, right? It will, it will happen when you persist in those thoughts and those assumptions, right? So when you are in the state of mind of someone who doesn't have money, what kinds of thoughts would you have from being in that state? Maybe I don't have money, I have a lot of bills to pay, what am I going to do uh, next month to pay my rent, uh, money's hard to get, I have to work really hard for money, right? Those are the thoughts that you will have from being on, on that state of mind, from not having money, right? So, but you're still having thoughts. You're still affirming, right? Because an affirmation is just a thought. You're assuming that you don't have enough money, right? So therefore, when you have those thoughts and those assumptions, you keep manifesting lack of money. So what we have to do to change from being, you know, not having money into having a lot of money, right? All you have to do is change states. So you go from thinking and affirming, I don't have money to start thinking, be in the state of mind of someone that has plenty of money. So what kinds of thoughts will you have from if you had a lot of money? If you're in that state of mind of I, I'm wealthy, right? What would you think? So you will think and affirm, I have plenty of money, money is so easy for me to make, uh, I have multiple sources of income, I always have more than enough money, money is so abundant, I'm opulent, I'm rich, I can buy whatever I want, right? So in order to change from a state of mind of, or yeah, simply the manifestation of not having enough money, when you want to change into having money, you have to start thinking from having it, right? You have to be in the state of mind, mind of having a lot of money. So you have to start thinking and affirming from being in that state. Like I said, for example, I have a lot of money. I always have more than enough money for everything I want and everything I need. My bank account is always full of money, right? But, but then what you have to do, you have to persist in those thoughts, right? Knowing that things are changing, right? You persist until it hardens into facts. So you keep affirming, you keep affirming, you keep thinking, you can visualize, you can create whatever you want to do, right? It's all an affirmation. You persist until you start seeing that in your 3D reality. So even if, for example, like uh, you see that your bank account, you still don't have money, it doesn't matter. That's all just an old assumption, right? It's going to go away once you persist and no, I have plenty of money. I always have plenty of money. It doesn't mean that you're gonna go and spend the little money you have in your bank account, right? You do everything here, right? Imagine that you're going to the store and spending a lot of money and you always have plenty, right? So don't go and go into debt. So um, that's what we have to do. So. Once again, the difference between like manifesting from a, an affirmation or a state of mind is basically the same thing, right? What kinds of thoughts are we having we, because our thoughts create? And the more we persist in a thought, right, the more 
like we're gonna see it in our 3D reality. And it's an assumption also. What assumptions are you having about yourself? For example, regarding money, right? I've never had money. We'll change that into, I've always had plenty of money. You can revise. If you, if you didn't grow up with money, revise it to I've always had plenty of money and just persist in that new state of mind of having a lot of money. You can do the same thing about a specific person in love relationships. For example, you can be in a state of mind of um, I'm rejected by this person, right? Or I am so loved and chosen by this person, right? So if you are experiencing rejection from someone, you don't want to be in that reality anymore. So jump into the state of I am chosen and loved by this person. Affirm, have thoughts, right? What kinds of thoughts will you have if you had that that attention and, and love and commitment from that person? So affirm, think, imagine, whatever you want to do from having it, from being in that state, right? You're affirming from being in that state of mind. So you persist, I'm so loved and adored by this person. I'm always loved and adored. adored. Um, Self-concept, right? I always get what I want. I'm loved and adored. I'm chosen. I'm cherished. Uh, this person is so loving towards me. He's choosing me, committing to me, etc. So we we have thoughts and affirmations from having what we want, from having that relationship, the commitment from that person instead of the rejection. We persist, we persist, we persist. And even if we're not seeing it in the 3D reality, we know that it's just old. It has to pass. It too shall pass, right? We persist and I already have it. I already have it because we need to believe that our thoughts create. Okay, so persistence. I think I made a video about persistence. So we persist and our thoughts, our affirmations from having it, from being in that state of mind of having it. And we don't stop until we we start experiencing in the 3D. And even once you get that, the money, or once you get that um, that specific person, right? You don't stop. You have to keep going because uh, if we know that we create with our thoughts, let's just have thoughts of about the things that we want, right? We shouldn't be thinking negativity, lack, suffering, right? Because we know our thoughts create. So now that we know that our thoughts create, let's just focus on what we want, right? Only assume from having the life that we've always desired. And now that we are in the year of 2022, let's make it our best year. We're gonna have all the money, all the love, all the beauty, all the everything, right? Because we can, because we are the gods of our realities. We can have whatever we want. We are in control. We're taking our power and we can have it all. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you have, um, if you want help with your specific situation, I'm more than happy to help you. All the links are provided down below. And just remember, you can have it all. You have that magic wand. Those are your thoughts. And let's use that magic wand to create the life that that we want, we desire, that, and that we deserve. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.